What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed Boys. Here we are in Nakai-san's car. So this is a, uh, a pretty famous street racer in the world of Need for Speed. Amy, stop calling me please. That phone really gets on my nerves in this game. But yes, this guy, he's a, a pretty famous racer and uh, apparently this is what's known as a master build. Like this is the best of the best that you can get. And honestly, based off my first experience here with it I've seen better in terms of speed and, and driftability and stuff but it's not bad the one thing I don't know what's going on with is this um look at the, is that like a muffler in the middle of the car what is that Do you guys see that there's like the two tailpipes in the sides that you can see when we shift the uh the kind of like backfire comes out and then when we use nitrous the flames come out but nothing comes out of that center thing. It, it looks, honestly, it looks like one of those big old like fart can mufflers that ricers put on, on Civic so that when they're going 20 miles an hour, it sounds like they're going 80 and it makes it sound like a, a race car. But I'm not sure what, what purpose this is serving here. Is it like a, a time travel device or like, I don't know. It's a, it's a, a weird, weird looking thing, but we are going to check out what's going on here in the land of need for speed. Uh, we actually, we had a, uh, a recording crash just a minute ago. We did a couple of races, won a couple of races, and one was, whoa, 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 one was with Manu and the other one, we tried, so if you guys remember this one, the one where you have to drift and, and stay in the line with Robin, we tried that like four episodes ago. I literally sat there and tried to do that for, I, I would say at least 30 attempts, and I, like, I'm surprised I didn't break my controller. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. This car here is actually decent at drifting, the, the Nakai-san's car, and I still couldn't get it. Like, it's just, it's impossible. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fast travel over to see what Magnus Walker is up to. Apparently, he wants to meet at the Longhorn. This is kind of like the, the green spike races that we've been used to, but I wonder if we're actually gonna meet Magnus for the first time. Oh boys, here we go. We're at the pool hall. Let's see what's going on. Hey, this is Magnus. Yeah, I saw you guys doing some fast runs out there. It was real impressive. If you guys can get close to my time zone, well, maybe we can get out there and drive together. Rock on. Cheers. Yeah, man. How do you get your handle? Don't look at me. You know what this means, bro? <laughs> I guess you earned it. Not this again. You both earned it. No, Robs, you gotta hand it to me. The way our homie here smashed those rat runs, no wonder Magnus hit him up first. <laughs> the prize is in sight, man. You say the word and let's do this. Come on. I think my fan might have been hitting the, the mic a little bit there. That's why I leaned out and I angled that thing down. All right, here we go. So the prize is out there, he says. Um... I'm not seeing anything though. I do see a Manu style one. Here we go. Damn you, Nam Q. Run the route as fast as you can. Finish within the target time to win. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and teleport there. Let's do it, boys. But yeah, dude, that one with Robin. Like, I'm I'm hoping that we don't have to have to to beat that to beat the game because I probably won't play it again. It's so frustrating. There's literally I, nothing I, that you can once do. Once you nail this practice, we can move on. All right, nail this practice. I got it, Manu. Let's see what you got. 3.8 mile. Oh, this is strictly. Oftentimes, man, it's just like half a time trial and half a. Uh, oh gosh, what are we? Oh, we're going around this thing. Half a time trial and half drifting, but uh, this one's strictly time. I think we got a solid handle on it. Oh wow, it's, there is a lot of drifting involved though. Oh, oh gosh. Didn't realize we were going that way, holy cow. All right, we're taking a left. We have a left drift coming up. Right. A hard left. Sweeping right, sweeping left. All right, nice boys. Oops. Lost a little bit of speed there. We're okay though. Woo! 
We're good. A big horseshoe turn. I'm about it, bro. As soon as this race is over. We have a minute to go less than a mile. Oh, we're good, bro. We killed this. It's funny that as soon as I do a race that just requires my ability and not the ability of AI to keep up with me or not to get too far ahead of me, I can do it pretty easily. But as soon as I, you throw AI in the mix and you have to stay in between two idiot AIs, not let them get too far ahead or too far behind. We would have beat this by 30 seconds, but we didn't realize it was... I don't know why you're going into this, but I'll take it. Get some sweet jumps. There it is, boys. All right. Damn you, name Q. We got it. Seven Gs in the pocket. Good stuff. Let's see what Magnus is up to. The thing for Mag Ooh, look at this right here. CJ Tastic is hard. Race the finish line, a point to point sprint race. Finish or first across the finish line wins. All right, let's do that, boys. And we're in this new car that we haven't really used before. Just a tiny bit, just a couple of races. And this is like, it's nowhere near as fast as our GTR or our, you know, Super that we had or things like that. I kind of want to get back in the GTR at some point. We'll see what happens. Let's win a couple of maybe maybe next episode we'll we'll upgrade to. Oh, I got you. Maybe we'll go back and check out the four five eight for an episode or two, and then we're gonna upgrade to the event store and then finish back off with the GTR. That'd be kind of fun. I do miss my baby. What is Magnus driving? That's the question. I hope we can keep up with them in this rust bucket. How could, look at our nitrous, it's not, it's not building. Why isn't our nitrous building? Dude, I don't, I don't really like this car to be honest. I wish we could sell it for money, but it's, it's not gonna get us anything. We're gonna have to beat this guy without nitrous, I guess. I don't, maybe it's gonna make me drift different types of nitrous or something. Now it's going up a little bit. Oh! This nitrous is fueled by drifting and destruction, I think. Interesting. Our other nitrous is always fueled by time. So that's not a very good nitrous for this race, because this has been a lot of straight. Yeah, that's how it works. Interesting, boys. That kind of stinks, though, because if it's a race like this where it's all about the straights, to be able to get nitrous, you need to slow yourself down. Like, I don't have to drift through any of these, but I, if I want nitrous, I'll have to. So it's like, what's, what's the bigger payoff, you know what I mean? But that's good for us have to drift, but I think it's better to just go for the straight shot. Oh man, this car is so slow. We're maxing out at like 160. We've got to get some interior streets if we want to beat this guy. Mile left, boys. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat him. I think we're gonna have to change cars. Unless he runs into something here. Oh, we have full nitrous. Whoa, where did that come from? What? We could have beat him. Where did our full nitrous come from? Probably drafting? I didn't even realize, like, I'm sure, so, 
One thing I do want to say that I see a lot of people talking about in videos and stuff is like, Trev, why didn't you read that? Trev, are you stupid? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Stuff like that. Uh, no, I don't want a free part. I want to go back to the garage. Where's her? Is this her garage? Garage. But people are like, you know, why didn't you? How did you not see that guy? How did you not see that? It's because when you're playing, it's like a whole different view than when you're watching. When you're watching, you aren't concentrating on what's going on in the screen. Like you don't have to move your fingers and stuff to play it. So you're able to look at the entire screen. You don't get that like tunnel vision. When you're playing, you're a little bit more tunnel vision. So that's why I'm sure you guys saw the, the NOS meter fill up before I did. But so we're going to trade this thing out anyway. It's not very good. Nakai-san's car is kind of kind of trash. So we're going to switch back to our 458. We're going to take on uh, take on Mr. Magnus Walker again and see See what's up. Hey. hey, yo. It's all about balance. Start with the soul and the body follows, brother. Look at these cars. The mistake is to see the science only. Construction. But to change the game, you need a vision. You gotta be an artist. And like any respectable artist, we start on the inside. The engine is the heart. And only once that engine is tuned to perfection do we focus on what hooks it up to the asphalt. Travis set us up with a niche supplier. Top tier parts for that final 10%. I saw a knock I sent work a build once. It took him four hours just to fit one wide body flare. Folks came and left. An unartistic mind grows bored with perfection. The knock I saw. Every panel was a single brushstroke. It was a masterpiece. Precisely why I'm worried he'll never come. Don't worry. He'll come. Well, his car's trash. I'm sorry to say it's not very good. I mean, I could appreciate the old school portion, but it's not very good for what we're trying to do here. One thing that it will be good at is drifting. We are definitely going to take this thing out. Whenever we have a drifting mission, we're going to we're going to hook it up, and that's going to be the car we use because, I mean, first of all, it's good at drifting. You guys saw that there. And then second of all, it's got the nitrous set up to where it, it builds as you drift, which is – so it's it's an awesome drift build. But um, for straight straight shots and speed, it's not so much. So we're, dude, we're going to come in here and absolutely whip, whip this guy in the 458. I'm excited, dude. Here we go, Magnus Walker, you don't even know what's, ooh, nice R34 right there. So we're gonna go back, where? Did it disappear? Dude, that's a beautiful, beautiful car right there. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, well, he was trying to call us just as we were leaving the garage. So I'm worried, oh, here. So if you don't beat him on the first, oh my gosh, are you serious? If you don't beat him on the first try, you don't get a second try until later. Oh, what? Oh, dude, we were in totally the wrong car. We didn't know how the, the oh my gosh. All right. Well, this kind of sucks because now we're with Manu. And this race right here, push up stairs, this is going to be a mix of drifting and speed. But it, okay, when it says so that, it actually means drifting. Like it's, <laughs> it's probably gonna give us a drift target score. Yeah. So this is gonna be harder because this car isn't really tuned for drifting. We would be way better off in Nakai-san's car. So we totally just did this backwards. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yes! That was sensual right there. I don't even know where we're going anymore, but we just beat it, baby. Let's go! Through a parking lot. 
Honestly, I think I might prefer this car over um, Nakai San's car for drifting just because it has. It's got the torque behind it, dude. If you don't have the power to send that car sideways and, and keep the momentum going, then you aren't going to be able to drift, no matter how light or, or good spec your car is for drifting. Ooh. That was odd right there. It just, like, stopped. My steering stopped working, or my brake stopped working. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, Poppy. Oh, Poppy, we just destroyed this. Oh, gosh. Where are we going? Oh, that's the, that's the finish right there. <laughs> we were two-wheeling it there for a second. All right, I'm happy to be back with the 458. Nakai-san's car was really not that great. I'm rhyming. Thanks for watching. Leave a liking. Peace out.